Yeah, the Malaysia's come into the tournament losing about four or five key players from their KL performance uh, two to three weeks ago. So maybe some new young blood, and uh, let's see if they can um, do quite well in this tournament with the uh, either young or inexperienced players that are coming through. Well, I guess it's a conundrum for a lot of the teams with the Asian Games coming up with different qualification rules from IRB. We've got to keep an eye on what's going on for in the 18 months and how important the Asian Games are to you. Of course, that's not the end of it all. There's the Olympics coming up in 2016 too. So, uh, yeah, as you say, uh, missing a couple of Fijian players there in the lineup, the Malaysians, that's for sure. Only Aparosa with the squad this time. And you're looking at the UAE, especially in Kuala Lumpur, and it's a very Emir Emirati feel to it. So maybe that's the direction they're thinking about for the UAE rugby moving forward. Well, it's a good move. If you look at uh, a lot of sports history when they enter the Olympics, it really does change the sport and change the focus of the game. Here's Shah here, who's one of my favorite players. Big, bulky runner, but he's got some skills. Really was in line for player of the tournament, I think, in KL. When Malaysia set the tournament alight, they surprised the People's Republic of China 26-10, and they beat Korea 35-14. That was a boil over on day one to win the pool. And then we got the most of them the next day. They looked a bit tired. Lost to Sri Lanka, but beat Chinese Taipei. And then in the plate final, beat Thailand 10-0. So a good tournament from them in front of their home crowd. Oh, this is straying there around the ruck from the UAE. Managed to obstruct the Malaysians. So here's UAE with their first chance for the ball on hand. And away they go to the loping figure of Suhail, oh. who gets the ball away nicely to Majid, who scores a try to even things up. And that was a good reward for play there. A nice run. Majid, he's only 19 years old. He's been playing rugby for six months. Can you believe it? Yeah, a lot of these guys there, Mike, have had in the uh, grassroots coaching program. And it was quite exciting to see them play in Kuala Lumpur yet again here in Thailand. So uh, it's, it's got to happen at some stage, given these young local players a, a little bit of taste of international rugby but some earlier than some and as you say it, there's a real green field to the UAE team but they've got an experienced uh, master in the form of Apali Langiloa who's coached Fiji at IRB 7's level and spent 40 years coaching the game so they've got a wise old head to teach them the rudimentary skills of the game that's for sure Majid Big tackle there on the ball carrier. Certainly not lacking in bravery, that's for sure. And he takes on Aparosa seconds later. And uh, apparently this young Majid is one of the favorites of the coach, the Pally. One of the fastest guys in the team, a law student. And already you can see they've picked up some lessons from KL, can't you? There's not the naivety as much naivety as there was in the, the first round of games they played. Up it goes, Malaysia take it away through Amir. This is Sharif. Gives a lovely inside ball to Ishwan. And this one does have the legs to go all the way. Had to change his angle away from the goal posts. Again, some Kenny defending, just steering the ball runner away from the posts. But it's this one who goes in for the try. Yeah, it all comes back down again, Mike, as the set piece again. Can be very, very vital. We've seen a lot of turnovers, especially at scrum time, the amount of scrums that we've had at. And that's probably just due to players learning the new cause, getting to understand it, free kick, penalty time by the referees. But lineouts, there's been so many, so many opportunities being thrown away. The other team in this pool is Korea, South Korea. And they were one of the improvers over the KL tournament. They started very slowly, but uh, paced themselves well. 
So free kick here for UAE. The score's 12 points to seven. So UAE need to stay in touch here just before half time. There's an interesting piece of play from Cyrus, who's one of the more experienced Emirati players. Oh, lovely change of angle there. But again, good defense from UAE. Well, it's put the pressure back on the Malaysians. And yeah, nice little step to get out of that first tackle, but uh, good cover defense by the UAE. Line out time, and let's see if they can consolidate this set piece and put it into practice. Cyrus Hamayun, 27 year old, who plays for the Dragons. Just finished uh, his degree in aviation management. Not a bad industry to be in in the UAE, I imagine, with Etihad and Emirates there. It's certainly becoming one of the larger air hubs in the world. So just on the cusp of half time. Talib, playing scrum half for UAE. Manages to clear the ball to Cyrus. He looks to kick again. Judges his options. Feeds an inside ball that's dropped. It's El Hartree there. So Malaysia driving over halfway. Ishwan. Here's a flies of Keefley. Good player with the ball in hand. Hard man to put down. Might have just gone forward. Yes, referee concurs. So good defense from UAE. And that's half time. Well, if you'd told the UAE coach, Apelli, that he would be only five points down at half time, I think you'd take that. It's a gutsy effort so far from UAE against the Malaysians as they have their oranges for 60 seconds. Confirming the score at half time, 12 points to seven to Malaysia. They're playing well, eh? Really? Oh, man, hey. It's a better and better. Off we go for the second half. Malaysia five points ahead. Well, some good football skills there from the Malaysians and uh, interesting tackling there. And without the ball, Cyrus gets it out to the left. Let's see what they've got on the outside. Oh, shame he couldn't get it in his hands. Had a little half break there. So Malaysia with a chance to score first in the second half with a scrum just outside the 22. Yeah, nice pressure on on the uh, the kick from Malaysia so um, now they can just camp down with their uh, the UAE half considering the score being 12 points to 7 Mike 
with seven points against Malaysia, it's going to give them a huge confidence boost. Relevant from the result this morning, this afternoon, but huge confidence boost where they finished up in KL. Yeah, it was six minutes of rugby yet too, so it could go either way. I'm sure the concentration needs to be there, and who knows if they can get another five-pointer. It's a nasty tackle with a man losing his feet. Razmi. But here's Cyrus again, who's really in control of things in midfield. Good work. Oh, but it's broken down here, Zaporosa. Is it to Shah here? Hunting is a pack, those two big boys. Oh, down goes Shah here like it. Looked like he'd been hit by a sniper there. Oh, he's been yellow carded yellow for the tackle carded. as well. Matrim. Interesting. It's our first yellow card for the day. So a one-man advantage now for Malaysia. Aparosa gets it through to Amir. Just on the 22 now. Oh, there's a penalty against Malaysia. It's uh, Shahid Dan going straight down on the ball carrier on the ground. It's Cyrus again. He likes these probing kicks. This time they've got plenty of time to field it. And it's uh, Amir who gets the inside ball away to Zukifli. New man Rasmi's on the field. Well, three on one out here. Just need steady hands. And Shahid Dan. Mucks it up completely. All he needed to do was draw that last defender. Yeah, it all comes down to the simple basics. Nice two on one, draw the defender, let the ball do the work. Just couldn't straighten it up. Just confirmation of the yellow card against Walid Salim for UAE. So they'll have another minute here, the UAE with a man down. Of scrum here for UAE and uh, managed to get the ball back. A lot of pressure though. Bring them out the back line there. And it's a penalty against UAE. And Aparosa surging for the line. Can't get the ball back. And what's he going for? I think he might be going for a penalty try, is he? He's going for the yellow and the penalty try. Oh dear. So. Double jeopardy for the UAE team. A little bit of naivety will put it down to. I think he was just offside, the referee considering it just to be a professional foul. Yeah. So another yellow card here for Malaysia. UAE down to five men. This time it's Gulam who goes down. The good news is that Salim's back. He's been subbed straight away, so Abdullah comes on for him. So the penalty try is converted. By Amir, it's 19 points to seven. Sigh of relief there for Malaysia. There's a few nerves on the Malaysian bench there while the score was within five. Shahidan restarts. Might have gone a bit long here. So it'll be a free kick to UAE. <coughs> Cyrus in control here. Decides to tap and throws a big swinging pass out to the left wing. It's Abdullah. He is being held up here, so it could be a maul. Eventually gets down to ground. Cyrus, another probing kick this time from Saeed that goes nowhere. Gives away possession. 
UAE still one man down. Malaysia with plenty of options out here to the left. Amir breaches the defensive line. Three on one now. There's a nice draw in Parsons. Or Keefley, well, he doesn't need a second invitation. And he'll swing it round almost under the post, Zulkifli. And he's turning into a bit of a try scoring machine, Zulkifli. Yeah, great work there from that uh, first ruck there. And just just good clear out, committed the numbers, boarded the work. And Zulkifli under the post for another five pointer. An illustration you can ill afford to give away yellow cards like that. It was always inevitable. It was always on the card there. Basically, when you drop off one player, there's space going to be somewhere. You drop off your second one in the yellow bin. It's, uh, it's a lot of chasing there, Mike. So how quickly can the scoreline blow out? Now that UAE are back to their full contingent of seven players, Interesting restart there. It's put of UAE under a lot of pressure. And Keithley again. Jamaluddin. Is, I think it's uh, one of the supporting players. Nazaruddin maybe was penalised there. Going in off his feet. Here's Nazaruddin again attempting a big tackle. And away he gets UAE. Now again, the gathering. There's the naivety we're talking about from Saeed. Dropped the ball instead of just diving on it to give away a scrum. Just leaving it there for the Malaysian to pick up. But a good game, a gutsy effort there from the UAE. Oh, well, they got five points out of that game, Mike. Final score, Malaysia 26, UAE 7.